Hello everybody, this is Hyperion Blue GT Champion and looks like the add-on content information has been received with an update on Gran Turismo Sport. So, looks like we're on the 1.19 version of the game and looks like it is finally here today. So, let's just go and get started for some few more things to get everything set up for. Well, it only has 9 additional cars ever since before to get ready to go so looks like we're about to see some of the classic group C race cars are about to go on in and there's only have nine cars that's been shown for it there's the Fiat 500F 1968 Jaguar SJR9 LM race car 1988 the Lamborghini Miura P400 bird tone prototype CN.0706 1967 the Salford Mercedes C9 1989 the Japanese four-door four sedan sports car the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 4 GSL 9, 1996 was definitely into the game for and last for the group C race car is the no Nissan R92 CP 1992 and also one car returned from Gran Turismo 6 is the Renault Sport Megany Trophy 2011 and there was a new Renault Sport Celio RS 220 EDC Trophy 2016 and looks like the Subaru BRCS is finally make its return as a 2015 model so let's just go on in and let's see and looks like Le Mans is finally added into the game the first is the Second to last Sarda on the one and the second without the chicane. Awesome. Can't wait to try it out the, the course. It's been a long time for the Le Mans track. And there might be some brand new events that have been added up into the GT League. And there's a Group 4 Cup is in the Beginner League. World Hatchback Championship on Amateur League. And the Lamborghini Cup is on professional league and definitely the dragon trail gardens has been added to the circuit experience this will be quite good for the track to be part of, of a group and there's some new scenes has been added to the Le Mans section and definitely scenes related to the Porsche has added in and there's definitely a museum for Dodge has been added in as well well, looks like it's time to go in and take a little tour for it. So there are only has to giving a little three heads up notifications. So let's just say just giving you a quick start on circuit experience. Well, looks like the Dragon Trail Gardens was definitely brand new to be part of the experience event. Maybe I'll have to check out over to the GT League and see what what else has to be expanded for it? Oh yeah, definitely the update for Fortnite was been installed for. And there it is, there's the Group 4 Cup. I kind of think that this event is for Group 4 cars only. Well, I kind of think that's all the, the cars has been shown for it. Alright, well, it seems that Celio Cup has been added two new rounds as part of the May update and looks like guess this is definitely quite shown the differences well this one is the 2015 model since the full game release and this one is to do is the 2016 as part of the May update as well well probably main rival cars might need a 2016 model like the same car as this one all right, so let's just check on the amateur league and looks like the FR challenge is adding up some two rounds in it as well. All right, the World Hatchback Championship is definitely released for it and looks like the Lamborghini Cup is definitely added in along with two new rounds on the F1500 Championship. Well, Probably the Group 1 Prototype Endurance Series is definitely added on another round. Well, 
I guess that we're gonna have to race on Sluggard La Sarda for only 60 minutes, so maybe I'm just gonna have to take a little quick preview to see it. Alright, now let's just go on over to the Brand Central and just definitely to take a look of the museum section on the Dodge. Well, I kind of think that was a quite second time to be waiting for a while for. Well, I kind of think it was established in 1897 that starts out as Evans and Dodge Bicycle. Well, definitely the Dodge brother has formed this company begins as the production of bicycles. But later on, the brothers became as an automotive company, definitely in the 1910s. Well, I kind of think it's just trying to, to scroll right to see it for. It looks like they just made in, in the 1930s. Could be, turns out that they make a styling. Well, the styling is definitely the Dodge's very first vehicle. Well, originally the, the screen side truck was been made in 1924. So definitely in the event in the 1920s, the Dodge Brothers passed away following with him in December. Well, definitely December and January and definitely quite before. Well, maybe I'll have to scroll right to see how it goes. And looks like this is gonna be turns out very classical. Wow, I cannot believe it that how the Dodge Brothers just build up a some good production cards to build their legacy. And luckily the 1966 they made a, a very first charger as a very first muscle car. It is notable for its hidden headlights. Wow. I kinda think that was the first muscle car built for it. And looks like this is definitely a quite interesting muscle car picture for it. The Bumblebees Together, cars from the Dodge High Performance line featuring the Bumblebee logo and stripes. Well, that was very inspiring to see these three muscle cars be formed as one, as a group. And looks like the the Dodge Charger was been raced in the 1969 NASCAR series. I cannot believe it that this one is definitely used as a stock car in the in the late si 60s. How very surprising! Well, definitely the muscle cars are quite the only best hint here in the 70s and the 60s, and later on. They make the Viper RT10 concept in 1989. An idea from Bob Lutz, the car, its name in the image of a Shelby Cobra. Well, I kind of think that the Dodge RT10 was definitely also seen in Gran Turismo 1 and Gran Turismo 2. Well, we missed that RT10 roaster style. Definitely, it made the debut in 1992. Well, I kind of think that it's made it three years after the release of the concept. So, you may know about the Interpret from GT2, along with the Neon and the Stratus. Well, I cannot believe it that there are a lot of different cars are definitely shown in for, and looks like the Dodge Ram is definitely part of a brand for. Well, you may know the first generation of the Viper GTSR was being entered in Le Mans and the Nurburgring among others. White color and blue stripes to be used for a GT race car. Alright, now let's just scroll back and keep continuing on and looks like the Viper GTSR concept was been shown here ever since in 2001 when Dodge Viper made as a as a concept version before it looks like it's well looks like that was the original Dodge Tomahawk 
It was been made in 2003. It was available to buy through Nileman Marcus with a price tag of $550,000. Ooh, that is very expensive to buy this Tomahawk sports bike. Well, it was definitely years before they make a, a Tomahawk Vision GT. That's how it originally based from the sports bike. Well, I kind of think that there are no images has been shown on the concept car. I don't know. We just want to see the exact image of the Dodge concept car. That's all of it that seems to be here. Okay, maybe I'll have to keep scroll right and continuing on here. Well, the Dodge Avenger is definitely used as a NASCAR stock car. And probably, you know, the Dodge Challenger, the 2008 model as a third generation model. And it looks like they updated in 2010 for a new style of the Dodge brand. Could also giving them a little more popular hint for it. Good thing SRT has finally made its debut to be shared with Dodge with a third generation Viper. Well, we just love Dodge Vipers a lot of these days. And definitely, that's how what happens here that ends up in 2016. Well, after the 24 years since its initial production in 1992, I kind of think that the Dodge Viper just ceased this year. Well, maybe someone just finally made the return to never let the Dodge Viper to put an end to its production. So, let's just go on over to the Europe brand section and take a look at the Jaguar. It looks like the, J the XJR9 is definitely in it and it also costs a million credits to go and use it for it. Maybe I'm about to start buying the SJR9 because this is definitely fully premiumized ever since in Gran Turismo 5. Well, it used to become as a standard car before it became into a fully premium car. I kind of guess that the differences between standard and premium car were only this one SJR9 race car. So maybe I'll have to go and buy this Group C race car and get ready to go. Alright, welcome back SJR9. I hope you really enjoyed a good time in Gran Turismo Sport. Okay, that's only one down to be purchased. Now head on over to Mercedes Benz. Well, the Salver Mercedes C9 is definitely joining in as a Group 1. Maybe it only costs the same credit as the other Group 1 race car. I kind of guess that we we are really wanted to go and buy that car to race once again for it. Well, I kind of guess that the Sauber Mercedes C9 is used to be the standard car back from GT5. And later, in Gran Turismo 6, it becomes a fully premium detailed car over shown for the very first time. Well, I kind of guess that this is the second time for the premium race car to be shown for it. Alright, second Group C race car has been purchased. I'll save it for later. Alright, now let's just take a little quick stop at Porsche to see there's some related scenes to be around here. Okay, looks like Porsche has been added up to some related scenes to it. I kind of think that the headquarters of Porsche has located in Stuttgart, Germany. Ooh, looks like they just putting a lot of old Porsche vehicles into the museum. I kind of think that that was amazing. That was quite brilliant to see only have six of them in the vault. Alright, just giving a little quick stop and keep continuing on on after this. So, looks like two new Renault cars are going to be in the showroom. That could be a good time to be 
shown here for you. Well, I kind of think that the Resnold Sports has two Celio RS220 EDC trophy. Definitely, this one is brand new as the 2016 model. Well, this one without the Renault logo on this headlights, and the 2016 has one instead. Well, I might be able to go and buy the 2016 Celio RS220. Maybe I'll have to switch to studio scenes and pick any color so maybe I'll go with the liquid yellow instead. Alright, the N200 car as the 2016 model is definitely joins in. Now let's just go in and purchase the Renault Sport Megany Trophy. Well, it's been a while for having this car ever since in Gran Turismo 6. Well, good thing it is properly marked as a Group 4 race car, but not a GT3 race car. But definitely the RS01 is definitely part of a Group 3 racing category. But this one is definitely shared for the second time for the Group 4 category. But maybe the Renault Sport Magni Group 4 is an FF race car. Definitely like the MR version of the trophy. So maybe I'll have to go and purchase the trophy version race car right away. Welcome back Megany Trophy, glad you really want to join for the group 4 race. Well, kind of obvious that Renault Sport has two Celio RS220 EDC Trophy and the Megany versions. Kind of think that the Megany Trophy is the wide body GT4 race car and definitely without the wide body version. It was kind of guessed that it has the same car type but different style. So maybe let's just go on over to Lamborghini and let's take a look at the Mira concept. Well, definitely the Mira P400 Burtone is definitely cost. Oh man, that may cost 1500, 15 million credits to buy this car. Definitely much different than the Group X cars. Well, definitely like the Jaguar and the Ferrari classic LMP race cars from the 1960s. But maybe I'll have to wait until I might need to get this car to be full credits enough. Alright, so let's just go on over to the Fiat. Definitely the 500F is definitely quite good for it. But it was definitely a slower car just like the Volkswagen Samba bus. Now let's just go and purchase this car. So maybe this is a quite small vehicle but very slow. So maybe I'll have to choose this color and buy it. Second time slow car for this vehicle. Well Maybe, I guess the 500F could also share the Volkswagen Samba bus. That would be much better to see which one is the slowest but fastest. Alright, now let's just go back, coming on over on Asia Pacific. Just gonna have to check on the Nissan dealership and looks like A second time Group 1 race car is definitely good to go to see it for it, the R92 CP. Well, good thing the Nissan R92 CP is definitely shown as a fully interior view for the first time. Well, I kind of guess that we have finally saw it on our own eyes. Glad this Nissan Classic Group C is definitely fully detailed for the first time. So, let's go and buy that third Group C race car. Well, 
kind of worried about the Mazda 787 B, but it was an awesome rotary race car to be raced at Le Mans, but this is a good choice to be prepared for, but maybe we'll just have to wait for a June update whenever we want to see the 787B to race with the other Group 1 cars, including the LM55 Vision Grand Turismo Group 1. Alright, now let's just go on over to Subaru and buy that 2015 BRC, and then let's see how it looks. Well, definitely the Subaru BRC S is the counterpart of the Toyota A6 GT and the Scion FRS. Well, we also saw the Falcon Tire slash Turn 14 Distribution BRC 2017 from the February update, but it only costs 400,000 credits because, well, 30,000 credits for the standard BRCS could be a good choice for it. Now, this time, time to go and buy this color, the WR Blue Pearl, and let's get going. Well, most other 2012 versions of it, but definitely, what about Scion could bring out a, a 2015 FRS? That would be might be good to see if two Japanese and one American sports car could also share out and battle out for only each other race sports. Definitely, that was from GT6 for having a little a one make challenge. Now, let's go on over to Mitsubishi and go and get that fourth generation of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution series. So, it only costs 30,000 credits, just like the BRC Sport. Well, we just always miss that car ever since it's on every Gran Turismo series. Now, I kind of think I should probably go and choose the steel silver metallic. Well, I kind of think five colors was definitely shown for it. Maybe I'll have to pick this color and go right ahead. Well, maybe we might need more Mitsubishi Lancers to be in GT Sport. That was quite what Mitsubishi lovers needed for. All right. Now that's all the new cars from the Brand Central. Now let's just move on in over to photo scenes. Well, Le Mans has added up a new scrapes, so maybe let's just take a look for. Well, probably that's the same thing as usual to be introduced to the game, but it also has that updated as well. And it looks like we have some new photo scenes introduced. Well, definitely the current ones definitely shown. And it looks like the home straight is definitely brand new. And luckily the Dawn the Pit Lane or And it looks like there is a new photo spot for it is the hospitality booths. Well, hospitality suites are provided for teams and sponsors during the 24 hours of Le Mans. Well, I kind of guess that Le Mans added up some more photo scrapes in it. I kind of guess that there will be more just only just for once. Alright, that's all of it. Now let's just go and get ready to go. Let's go and take a little custom race. Now let's just scroll down and try it out the Circuit de la Sarda. Probably this time I'll be going the 8.47 miles for this race. And probably it only has 7 conditions and well we might need the nighttime conditions to be required for it. But that's definitely quite shown the time for it, so maybe let's just go over to take the fine, fine weather for now. 
All right, now let's just go and get everything set up. Wait for all the cars to be shown. Well, maybe I'll have to go and start using the, the Peugeot 908 HDI FAP Team Peugeot Total 2010. Well, probably I might be able to get started for only for two laps. This will also gonna have to take some time to be prepared. All right, now let's just do a little rolling start. This time it's gonna be fully prepared on professional. Hope I'm about to get ready. So definitely group one race cars are definitely going to be prepared. Well, glad I'm about to be racing up with some race cars through the ages. From the past, the present, and the future race cars. This is going to be very good and very excited to see how this race turns out to be. Alright, there's the Audi R18, Hyundai N 2025 Vision GT. Well, I kind of think Group 1 Division types will be also to be putting on for. Let's see if this is going to be a good race for it. Vision Grand Turismo Division Group, LMP1 Race Group, and definitely Group C Classic Race Group. This is going to be quite very easy to see how this race can go. Alright, here we are and this is Circuit de la Sarda. Well, in case you guys have already known that you tried out the course before, well, maybe I'm really glad to see it in a different place for a long time. Well, it was used to be as a 2009 layout course in Gran Turismo 5. In Gran Turismo 6, it has a 2013 layout course, probably to be very different and very realistic. But in GT Sport, this track changes a lot. This is definitely quite very different for it. But it also has that 24 hours of Le Mans logo with a brand new type for it. Well, definitely the Circuit de la Sarda from the left has definitely shown for it. Well, that was quite very realistic to see how it changes a lot since we just left off. Now, looks like it's time to get ready to race and let's go just like the actual track. Alright, we're about to take on the rolling start and then we're off. Well, I guess I'm about to master in the Circuit de la Sarda again. We've been waiting for a long time though. Taking on the glory of the 24 hour race and looks like the starting grid is changing up differently. Better than staging on the last corner. Whoa! Well, kind of thing there is the SJR9 and the R92 CP is definitely joining in for the race. This is definitely an awesome divisional group types for only group one race cars. Three division types of LMP1 race cars is definitely quite shared up to good. This is gonna be one awesome, excited run to race for the classic and the futuristic race cars with using any kinds of modern LMP1 race cars is gonna be precisely to, to choose. Well, glad we missed that long straight. Probably you guys really want to do some uh, drag racing online. Alright, LM51 took the pass in. Maybe I'll pass the, the interior and it goes on in. Take a little straight, push forward, 
has that TSO 30 hybrid. Well, speaking of which, the TSO 50 hybrid 2016 is definitely joining in for the race course. I kind of think that was, oh man. Well, I hope you don't want to have this moment to get end up in a crash, just like the ones in the 24 hours of the month back in 2012, when the Toyota TSO 30 got caught in the crash along with the Ferrari 458 Italia. Well, maybe you guys must find, better have to find search 2012 24 hours of Le Mans crashes. Well, with that, I just remember the harsh part on the corner. Well, definitely the trees has been removed on this area before we pass by in. Definitely might need to have some more expanded spot for it. Maybe just giving a little comparison to see what's the difference. Alright, going in, take a little pass, pull the brakes, and caught on the sand. Well, looks like back at, at the same spot, just like Grand Trismal 6 all over again. Well, definitely in the real life, whenever a couple of fame racers and celebrities are definitely take part of the endurance races. Maybe I'll have to do my best for it whenever I had to take the chance. Alright, well, looks like the Nissan GTR Helen race car is definitely giving a little quick catching up pass by. Well, it looks like the Gran Turismo large screen is definitely shown around. This is definitely quite good to more precisely to entertain for all the spectators. Well, it also seems that when Forza Motorsport uses Le Mans Sports, definitely this is definitely giving a little weight for a moment for throughout the year since 2013. Until now, 2018 Le Mans is definitely is the new course and definitely with a different view. Okay, there's the Le Mans side on the Long Straits. Definitely rather than the Gran Turismo logo or Forza Motorsport. Well, maybe this is definitely quite changed up a bit differently. All right, coming past by it and past two Vision Gran Turismo Group One cars. Alright, there you go. Gonna stay on the second place and reach on over to first. Okay, dive in and no. Okay, well, I can't get that. Uh, I'm just really good pro at Lamont, so maybe I'll have to slow more time to be more precisely quickly as possible. Well, maybe after this, I should probably have to start bringing out the Group 3 race cars as GTLM Pro. Maybe some Group 1 cars or definitely really want to do some more practice. Alright, well, let's see what else am I going to have to keep working out stronger to reach it up to first place. Alright, coming in closer. Okay, pull the brake on the Indianapolis section. Well, of course, the, the Audi R18 was definitely currently in first place. Maybe I'll have to go and pass that German LMP1 race car. Well, yes, this is going to be another win for Audi, so, well, kind of think eight years ago, Pritchett had claimed the victory in 2010, 24 hours of the month. I kind of guess this is going to be a little more 
hard and difficult to take on the Audi board. Maybe unless Peugeot tries to make its way to win. And it looks like Audi just always won a few times in, in Le Mans in 2011 to 2017. Well, maybe just like the ones in 2001 through 2006, I kind of guess that Audi always wins by dominating the Le Mans racetrack. Well, the finish line is definitely starts at the stopping point. Well, I kind of guess that this is definitely a trying out course for it. Well, Maybe I'll have to get ready and start using Group 3 race cars for it. So, it looks like 180 mileage points by having two laps for it. That looks like giving a good extended time for it. Alright, so let's just go and check out the replay and see what it looks like. Alright, there is... Dang Newman in for. Well, I kinda guess that this may take seven minutes to see how this replay can, can go. Maybe I'll have to sit back and watch the race begins. Well, I kinda guess that the replay has changed differently. How awesome. How very awesome for that actual cinematic moment. Oh ho ho, wonderful. That was very wonderful to see. How I love this replay based on the real life event. I hope the World Endurance Championship is going to be prepared for the 2018 24 Hours of Le Mans in June. Well, maybe French people really want to come over and hear the large tracks to grab your favorite race cars and favorite drivers because this is going to be a one awesome, excited thrill. But this may take seven minutes to be prepared to see how it turns out to be at the actual event. Replay. 
of my spaceship seems to be having a hard time for it. Well, definitely some fiction or locals have seen around here and well probably this will be quite good for having an endurance race. Okay, looks like in the second lap and looks like moving on into the next lap. I guess that the replay part on it is also standing in front of the Dunlop Bridge. That might be quite very cool to see on driving on the sun, sun ride. Alright, so let's just check on the Sky Bridge. And let's see what else am I going to have to see what happens. Well, it looks like we're about to be approaching in into the Dunlop Bridge. Well, evenly not yet. So definitely, I just like the the part when all the cars are running downhill. Definitely, a lot of them to be prepared for going on over to the straight. Well, this is a new replay cinematic. Because this is definitely brand new to us as always. And it also replaces the 24 hours Le Mans local rather than the Gran Turismo logo. Well, this track may be used for all LMP race cars and DTLM race cars. That will be quite fitting used for the competition around this June. Alright, looks like that's me passing on the Hyundai Grand 2025 GT. One. And there's the Audi R18 coming in in first. Well, can't guess that I should probably have to get used to the chicane whenever I have to do it. Looks like the rest of the group one cars are coming coming in for it. And maybe this part, well, just taking a little dive in break to pull it in hardly without getting caught in the sand. So, looks like that's all the replay has been shown. Now let's just exit out. Okay, well, looks like 2 BMW M6 is going to take on the first head start. Maybe I'll have to get ready to be for the clip. This will also extend a lot of period of time. All right, so maybe let's just change the settings sheet. 
and maybe just adding up a video clip. Well, it doesn't show the image on my Corvette C7 is definitely not here. I'll just have to wait to add another one. Alright, so looks like I'm about to be prepared. Gonna have to take on some exact preparations to be used as the GTLM. Well, definitely the road course will be also recommended, so maybe I'll have to give it a shot to see what else am I gonna have to change it up for. So, looks like time for GTLM number two attempt. Here we go and let's get on the rolling start. Oh man, I almost get crashed by the start, so looks like let's go on over to taking a little daytime for it. Well, probably the headlights on. I guess this is going to be a quite very different for it, rather than having a little daytime. Well, I kind of think daytime is definitely quite very clear to be shown for it, but it looks like it is semi afternoon for it. Well, I guess this is going to be quite very interesting for every GTLM race car. Well, probably the other two or three race cars are joining in for it. Maybe if I could see the Dodge Viper GT3R or, well, maybe the Ferrari 458 Italia GT3 was definitely in it. It was definitely marked as LM race car. So, probably GT FLM and LMC race cars are definitely shared in divided category divisions. Well, maybe for instance, we're giving for two division cuts for LMP category. LMP1 is definitely the main goal for every prototype race car. Definitely good for the Audi. Nissan and Porsche, especially Peugeot from 2010, and the LMP2, well, Nissan was definitely shared with the other LMP1 category division type, and definitely Alpine and, well, Alpine was having some LMP2 race cars to be in this race, definitely the Peugeot, well, Definitely what the French name was used for prototype race cars. And definitely the GTLM Pro. Well, GTLM Pro always uses on yellow headlights. Maybe just only giving little choices for maybe for instance. Chevrolet Corvette GTLM is a good choice for Le Mans track along with a Dodge Viper GT3R. Or maybe the the Ferrari 458 Italia GT3 was definitely in it. Well, definitely it also shown for the new Ferrari 488 GT race car. Was definitely shown for for the 2017 Le Mans Endurance. But probably Ford GT was definitely in it. But it also has that brand. 2017 model for it. Well, maybe the 2004 Ford GT LM race car, definitely made by Grand Trismo for the GT4 release. Okay, there's the Ford 58 Italia racing in. Very good. Now, probably the Porsche 911 RSR was definitely participating for this race. Well, it was definitely part of a GT and Pro, but this is going to be a quite very interesting race for Well, GT well, I kind of think that it only uses for GT3 reach category along with the other GT LM Pro category division. So maybe the Lamborghini Huracan was definitely participating in Le Mans? Yes? No? Well, some of you guys have already known that the Lamborghini 
Puricon GT3 was definitely in Le Mans series. Just give me a little reminder check, folks. I can't guess that each different race car has definitely shown when participating to the 24 hours of Le Mans. Well, definitely the BMW M2. M3 was definitely quite shown to participate, but it was definitely shown in 2011 Le Mans Endurance. Alright, coming in for the final lap. Let's just get ready to go and pass more cars going in. Alright, excellent, and slow down. Going back in. Well, see, kind of as professionals, Bert has the respect for the penalty while driving Circuit de la Sarda. It could be quite very challenging, but make sure you Bert has to follow the rules whenever you're making a mistake. This will also give a little time to slow down whenever you really want to use the hazard light for it. For example, whenever it makes a mistake, you should probably ask to be automatically use it and slow down for a short period of time. Alright, looks like I'm going in the past the only top two cars. Let's pull the brakes, stay on it, take the first chicane. That's the spirit. Now coming in and drop another car in. Well, yes, the BMW M6 is going to be as GTLM race car. Okay, pull one brake. Be careful on the second chicane. Alright, passing on in and reach the Empower Library. Hold the brakes. Okay, stay on it. Keep focusing on the M6. Gonna have to reach up in first place. Well, I kind of guess this will be, will be a good reference to this in every month endurance here. I kind of think that the Corvette does make its way to reach first place in the DPLM category division. Maybe I'll have to find out and see. Alright, take on the Indianapolis corner section and watch out on the rear. There you go. Okay, pass the M6 and looks like giving a little quick inside turn. Definitely a little dangerous close. Alright. I'm on the lead and let's go on in to Master Chicken to Last Sarda. Okay, coming on the Michelin sign, cutting in rather than the Grand Trismo logo sign. Well, even, yes, Circuit de la Sarda was made its debut in Gran Turismo 4 ever since in 2005. Well, I guess this is quite very a long time for the to see this with a different variation course. Well, gonna have to be more specifically careful not to be cut up the track. Alright. Coming in and take a little last stretch shortly and finish. Well, that was an awesome race, but it also takes 8 minutes and 46 seconds to reach on first. Well, 7 minutes for the LMP1 race cars. 
and eight minutes for the GTLM race cars. That will be might be quite well balanced to see how it turns out to be. All right, so looks like finally got some of the first place earnings in. Daily workout is complete on the lawns and that was quite good. So let's just go on over to see the replay. And this time, GT Elum race cars is for the second. Okay, looks like there's the same style putting on the variable. Well, I kind of think just putting on standards might be good enough to see the new replay parts. Okay. Probably might be quite very good to see it. Well, I kind of guess that driving GTL cars based on the actual real life event boards shared with the other LMP1 race car division. But probably this will be quite very good to share along with some other divisional type category boards. But maybe just one car class for only a custom race. That will be much better for it be shared for only one track. Okay, coming in and maybe let's check on statistics and see where they're at. Okay, well, looks like we're taking on that bottom corner. Just trying to check on the live timing. Looks like my Corvette is coming in and taking on that, on that corner.
second lap of this race, guys. Well, definitely we we might want a Ford GT 2017 and the new LM3 car as well. That would be a good choice for Le Mans track. I kind of guess that we just already had the 2006 Ford GT, but what about the new one to be shown for it? Well, I kind of guess this is going to be hard to tell. All right. Passing on that second chicane and going on in. that the forest background is definitely quite changed. Well, on this section on that road, it's definitely used for that two-lane tarmac with grass, but definitely also added with a, a self-tarmac instead of the forest. Well, I kind of think this is going to be very different for a course. Alright, and looks like just finally take the inside turn on the sharp 90 degree corner. Well, I kind of think that that could be an excellent race for having a headlights turned on. All right. Passing on in. Well, I kind of think this corner is kind of quite very easier, but very difficult when driving going in faster. Might be able to do that whenever I had to use the FR or any kinds of strong fast cars anytime soon. That'll make sure I'll be have to be fair for the next part for it. Well, kind of think my mistake for it. Then. Finally made it at long last. Well, that was a good replay, folks. Hope you really like it. So, maybe I'll have to go back out and let's see which car should I get for the daily workout for today's update special episode. Okay, well, the new Alpine A110 Premier Edition. Well, maybe I already had one since the catch-up part. So, maybe this will add it in right here. This will be used for a library. 
Well, I kind of think it's been a long time to be prepared to get everything set up for. Well, definitely Le Mans is our favorite track of the day for the May update. Well, you know, speaking of which, we don't know what day is the 24 hours of Le Mans endurance race is going to be held at, well, probably around in mid-June. Maybe I'll have to find out there might be some other things to be shown in some features. Okay, well, profile has definitely changed the same. But the other news, well, I kind of guess that each spot could also hold up to store more cars up to do up to 2000. Well, 2000 spaces of each car is definitely quite a lot of it. Well, maybe I'll have to sell some other gift cards when I just bought it in or maybe just use for it. Maybe I'll have to be dependent on it by giving it a little choice. Oh yeah, I kind of think I almost forgot one thing to putting on some fine colors on the mile exchange. So it looks like Bear had to buy the yellow 3 launch flakes, G2 half mate, and definitely the G5 Might metallic. Well, definitely that's good enough for now. So, definitely having a good race on Le Mans is definitely quite good. Well, maybe I'm still working on some Group 1 cars to get everything prepped up for it. This is going to be quite very challenging to be prepared to, adding up some new events and some new rounds in the GT League as well. Well, I kind of guess that this is going to be quite excited to be prepared for a brand new set of challenges, folks. Maybe you should probably have to get ready and get some more mileage points to be extended up to be almost a hundred thousand more. When, whenever it depends to be stopped up at 9999 9, for it. Well folks, that's all the, all the new stuff for the May 2018 update on Gran Turismo Sport. Thank you for watching and don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube or check it out the two links below on the description if you'd like to see some more for it. That will be quite possibly interesting for all of you if you want to see more for it. Well, thank you, thank you for watching you guys. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time to continuing on in Gran Turismo Sport. Thank you and have a good day.